Hey everybody and welcome back or welcome for the first time to uh, Northern Lion Plays Prison Architect if this is your first time. This is also kind of a reboot of the series because intro version just released a new alpha update. This is alpha 25. It came out yesterday relative to the time that this video is coming out and there's a lot of new stuff that's changed here. We're just going to get started. I planned out a basic prison. I'll talk a little bit about it as it's being built. Uh, but also in the update, basically they uh, addressed a lot of, I wouldn't necessarily say concerns, but a lot of the potential complaints that I had with uh, Alpha 24, which is that at a certain point, even though my prison was not going 100% fantastically, uh, it was really, really easy to kind of keep things, you know, in equilibrium and going pretty well. Uh, I should turn off prisoner intake, give me a second here, that would have been a terrible mistake if I had not done that. Um, yeah, so, it, like, once you got a prison going, if you just kept things kind of, you kept putting prisoners into the system at roughly the same rate that you were expanding, it wasn't really that big of a concern, apart from, you know, obviously the production kinks that I had going on uh, with, like, my supply chain when it came to the workshop and junk like that. But in any case, uh, we made it work. Now, in this one, uh, they've made prisoners more volatile. They've really rebalanced the game in favor of the prisoners to some extent, even though there are some new tools that you have as an architect slash, you know, makeshift warden, basically. Um... Namely, one of the big things is that all prisoners now have uh, traits or reputations, I guess is what they call it. So every prisoner when they come in has a reputation because, you know, you know things about them from the outside world. Maybe they're super strong, maybe they're super violent, maybe they don't get suppressed easily because they're stoic. Um, did we get this built properly? I just want to make sure that we're pausing it roughly around the time that this would be done. Uh, we'll install a jail door on the entrance here. But anyway, basically it makes prisoners more volatile overall, or more likely to cause shenanigans to happen. And you only know 50% of those uh, when they first come into the prison. So this is proper, I think. There we go. Um, you only know 50% of those traits when they come in. You have to use informants to figure out the other uh, 50%. I'm going to need to get grants going pretty quickly because we're uh, running out of money already. But that's okay. We'll get our offices built right off the bat. So I'm excited for that. There's other stuff like Supermax security prisoners. Uh, you can manually assign people to Supermax and set like a uh, individual regime for them and stuff like that. Uh, I will do that, I think. I, my hope is that we'll do that. But we'll see and we'll make sure that... Um, you know, the new prisoner behavior doesn't make them super, super powerful. So as I'm building this here, let's talk about what we've got going on, the lessons that I've learned from my last prison, and what I've got going on with my planning here. So this area that I'm building out right now, and we'll put it on like speed 2 for now while it gets built, is going to be our office block. But we only need 5 offices for like administrative personnel. So oh, we should take the administrative grant as well. Like that. Just a free uh, 5,000 bucks. Uh, and we're going to build everything anyway. Um, so that's gonna build, uh, this is gonna be four or five offices, sorry, and then this one with the, uh, the door facing outwards is gonna be a holding cell for us. Basically just to fulfill the criteria of the, um, of the, uh, basic administrative grant. And you want a holding cell anyway, just in case, you know, something goes wrong with the way that you're, uh, outlining your prisoners anyway. The room on the left of this complex I'm building right now is gonna be visitation. This incredibly small room right here is going to be our staff room, where staff can unwind. And uh, this room is going to be a common room, and I may put a door here so that uh, prisoners can get from visitation to the common room. I'm not sure if that's necessary, but I have seen it in some other prisons in the past. Alright, so that's uh, this is going to be largely a, like an administrative wing for us. You can probably take a guess as to what uh, this area is down here. These are going to be our first two cell blocks. They are aligned differently than we align the cells previously, just to make sure that we kind of have eight prisoners uh, segmented uh, from one another, and then a hallway that runs down between them. And it might not be the most efficient way, but having this hallway in the middle also allows us to really iterate on this and just expand downwards uh, as much as we want. And we could also close this off and expand upwards if we want to, but I don't really want to do that given the way that I've got this outlined right now. As you might expect, by the way, episode one here is going to be uh, a lot of exposition on my planning procedure and a lot of actual like manually building via my workmen and stuff like that. Uh, so we got two cell blocks here so we can fit 16 prisoners in here which is enough to get us to cell block A which I think is a $40,000 grant which is crazy. So we'll get these walls built uh, and as soon as like the, the walls start being put in and we have one closed off office we'll get a warden and then we'll start researching accountants or finance so that we can uh, actually take more grants as soon as possible. This relatively tiny area here is going to be our kitchen and then one of the big mistakes that I made in the last prison is having very very small canteens placed like piecemeal throughout the prison this one is gonna be a large canteen and it's gonna start out pretty big this area over here by the way is our showers or it's intended to be our showers I've got a little like closed off shower area in there to kind of expand on the surface area like a folded protein or something like that um, 
And this also has the potential to like blow out this wall and expand it even further to make like a huge centralized canteen if necessary. And we've got a door leading from our kitchen which should allow for uh, the, the kitchen staff to easily like place food on serving tables. Alright, so let's start putting some objects in here because we want to get a, uh, a warden up as soon as possible. So we'll expand on this and we want a chair. Put the warden's office right at the front so he doesn't get, you know, destroyed in case of riot. And we'll put this like this, and our filing cabinet, like so. So, another thing that was added, by the way, was a, um... The ability for tunnels, like, tunnels have been basically buffed. So now prisoners actually work together on tunnels, and it's a lot more difficult to actually, uh, discover them. You can only, as a guard, discover a tunnel if the prisoners are actually digging it as you search their cell. Otherwise, you have to dismantle the toilet to actually get a... To actually get confirmation that they're doing that. So I'm just going to let them build out some more here. Uh, if we have enough money left, and I think we will, I might blow out like a hole down here. Or I might just... I don't know. Because I, I, I made the fatal mistake again of not really putting my... Uh, or building a room to put my uh, capacitor and electric generator and water pump station and stuff like that in. Which is a dumb mistake, but... You know, we can leave those outside. Eventually, I imagine they'll probably add like weather effects, which will make it impossible for you to leave your... Uh, Electrical stuff outside without starting a fire, but for now we can take advantage of the fact that that doesn't exist uh, And I'm going to do so so we'll make an office quickly We can stretch it like this and it'll make two offices. Yeah, and good and we'll hire a warden Here put him in there, and then we'll get our warden working on Finance which is only 500 and will be done relatively quickly. All right, so we've got our uh, We've got everything decked out here from a uh, you know, basic administrative standpoint. We just need to put objects in the rooms. And we probably won't have prisoners until day two. That's just, you know, I, I build my prison uh, and it takes a little while for it to get going here. We might as well uh, get, it's not like there's any rush. We might as well put in a second office. Because we're going to need one for our uh, accountant as soon as she shows up in order to actually be able to take more grants. So we'll put a staff door here. Oh, here. And uh, let's talk about where we're going to put our capacitor. Well, it's not a capacitor, it's a generator, but you know, what I, you know what I mean, presumably. Power station. So, I want to put it in a position where I can also put uh, capacitors all the way around it. So, I think this location is relatively okay, even though it's outside and probably, uh, you know, not the most efficient place for it. And then, can we put this here? Yeah, okay, so th this will be fine, you know. It's a bit of a lazy placement. It's going to look inelegant, but I'm, I'm relatively pleased with the way the rest of the prison is set up. So, I'm not too salty about it, all things considered. And I gotta say, you know, I've, I've learned some lessons from the last prison, and I think this one's gonna turn out a lot better as a result. Does this need to be turned on? Or do we just need some... Well, nothing else is being built right now. Um, I'm just wondering why it's not bringing any power at all. I guess it just doesn't stretch into the prison. So we'll lay the electrical cables. Generally speaking, I have heard that you want to run those through the walls, so we'll, uh basically create like a perimeter here it's relatively cheap and then through like intersecting middle walls we will uh, get this done and it's nice to place these before doors because it makes it a lot easier for our uh, for our workmen to actually do their job I'm probably being a little bit too anal if I had to guess about the actual placement of uh, the wires but that's okay I think this should cover the whole prison and we might as well lay pipes as well, but we'll wait for the electricity to get taken care of. And hopefully by that point, uh, finance has kind of been taken care of as well, so that we can take another grant, like that cell block A grant, and then um, we'll have enough money to build out. But I I'm pretty sure that we're going to be fine to have 16 prisoners here, and uh, it's going to run relatively well. But we need enough money to actually buy the objects to furnish our prison right now, because it's just kind of bare bones. As we are right now, but you know the the early part of the game is pretty much just straight up grant 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 over and over. You know what? We need basic uh, detention center as well. That's another twenty thousand. I didn't realize that we were. Uh, I I, th I kind of thought we had that one by default because it's been a while since I started a new prison. Really, you can't place a. I was gonna say I thought you could place it there. There's also been some bug fixes, which is good. Uh, I don't know if the the bug fix about escorting prisoners to cells and that actually was a bug fix, by the way, or a bug, I should say. Uh, I don't know if that's that's been fixed, but I know it's, you know, there's ways to mitigate it. Uh, finance is done. Let's research maintenance next. Uh, psychology is also a good one to get. We'll get psychology first. Um, 
And we'll put our accountant down in her office. And then from Grant's, we should be able to take cell block A. Oh, we need to complete basic detention center first. So we can take two Grant's right now. Um, basic detention center's in progress. Build a staff room. I think we'll just wait until we can take cell block A, which will be done really soon. Uh, okay, so we'll wait for the wires to be placed. And again, before we put doors, I'm going to get some stuff sorted out here. So what do we need? We need a holding cell. So a holding cell is just going to be, you know, I, I made sure the door was facing outwards just so that it was distinct from the offices. It's pretty easy. Just a toilet and a, a bench, not a table. And we'll lay that like that. And we'll make sure that this is a room that is a holding cell. Oh, it's got to be 5x5? Five five? Oh, man. My whole... Okay, we'll save that for later. My whole plan has gone to crap now. All right, we'll wait for the we'll wait for this to be done. Well, we don't need another office. That's the thing. All right. Well, we could we could put our visitation room. Sorry, you don't need to place these anymore. Um, we could put our visitation room here, but it's so small. And we could put our holding cell here. We're gonna have to do that to complete our grants, which you know I'm not super thrilled about. We can get by with the world's smallest visitation room. Or we can just build a visitation room a little bit later, which I think is what we'll probably do. And we'll use this as like a, I don't even know, a staff room or something like that. We have no solitary rooms, but we can sort that out really easily. Alright, so things are being built properly here. This is fine. No major concerns. Uh, we'll wait for the, uh, well, you know what, most of the electrical wire has been placed already. So, let's talk about where we're going to want to run pipes here in order to... Uh, properly plumb our prison. We're going to want uh, large pipes, like not necessarily in the walls, because that's going to be an easy exit to the outside for them. So I think we'll do it like this. And yes, this kind of does give them access to the outside. I don't really have anything to offer in my defense there. That's going to be a lot of tunneling through a pipe, though, is my thinking. Uh, and then we'll do small pipes like this. So toilets are going to be on, like, this back wall. So we can do it like that. 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 And that. Uh, this is going to be our holding cell. Let's run some more uh, large pipes through the walls up here. Alright, so this is going to be our holding cell up here. We'll just say the toilet will be here. This is going to be common room. Uh, the sink is going to be somewhere along this wall. And then we got showers, so we'll go back with large pipe here for a second. Large pipes are being built like this. Um, we'll put some large pipes here, and then we'll build small pipes all along the shower area here. Like so. Still some relatively minor mistakes in my prison construction, but I'd say that's uh, relatively okay, all things considered. So these will be built out now. Uh, our psychologist is almost done, so we should also put a... Uh, staff door like here, and we'll put a chair like so. Don't really care how this is aligned for the most part, as long as his computer is actually facing him for one reason or another. That is some weirdness to me when that doesn't work. So we'll get maintenance, which will allow us to get a foreman. Now we still have to build our fences out as well. We might as well queue that. Uh, so we need we need to have our yard out here. Or we need to have fences to actually do our yard, so we should... Install that, and we're going to need to have fences like this, and like this, like this. We don't need a fence at the back. I don't know why I put that there. Because I'm uh, a little silly sometimes, I suppose. And just like this. We need to install a, uh, a door, kind of like an airlock type situation. Okay, I guess I am building a fence there, whatever. We'll wait for that to get done. It's going to take a while for these pipes to get installed anyway. Hopefully, oh, of course they start building the fence first. Now, get the psychologist down. I'd rather have him be ready. And we might as well queue up another office for ourselves as well. It might take us a couple more days than even our last prison to get ready. So, we'll uh, put our maintenance foreman in here. Door model looks different to me. I'm not sure if that's actually correct, though. And we'll put a filing cabinet up in here. Alrighty. Just kind of letting them go. The pipes take a while to install. That's just par for the course. 
And we, we're learning our lesson, which is we want to get all of this stuff installed before the prisoners actually arrive. Um, and before we put on doors as well. Not that we did, I think we did fine in the last, uh, whatever you want to call it, the last season, the last, uh, iteration of Prison Architect. I think we did totally okay, but, uh, especially considering that I was bad, uh, earlier, like really, really bad at the game earlier. I'm gonna install just a regular door here, and then we'll deck this out as our yard, and that will at least check one thing off of our list here. Um... But yeah, you know, considering that I had struggled, like, when I played the game back in 2012, I basically never got a prison over, like, 20 inmates before a riot started. Uh, and it was fun, it was exciting, but at the same time, it was also horrifying. I'm hoping that, uh... Are you building a fence, or it's more pipes, I guess? No, it's more fences, okay. Uh, I'm hoping that we can go back to that to some extent, but also, like, a little bit more knowledgeable now. Okay, so we, uh, our, our offices are ready, so we can actually hire... Our psychologist, and we can hire our foreman, can't we? Oh, there he is. I, I don't know why I didn't see him there. Alright, what more could we possibly want out of bureaucracy here? Well, you know, why don't we get started on, uh... I know we have security and education and stuff like that, but we're gonna start on uh, cleaning and groundskeeping. Just because that is, uh, those are requirements for a grant. Alright, so the fences are being built. We're gonna have to put in a road gate as well. Road gate is here. And I did learn, by the way, that one of the reasons that we had such a hard time bringing prison, prisoners in is because the guards uh, didn't kind of have the behavior that uh, allowed them to realize that me locking the gates open doesn't mean prisoners can just escape. Like, they were behind some extra doors. Oh, workmen are done doing things. Okay. Um, which was a problem, clearly. We want our toilet here and then a table here. I wonder if we could, like... Nah, it's okay. I was thinking like we would wall this off or something like that, and then we could have a visitation area next to our holding cell, but it's not necessary. Um, but yeah, I uh, it, it's my own fault for kind of not understanding the logic of how these guys got their job done. I guess we should hire some guards, because otherwise we won't be able to open these jail doors. Which, of course, they installed first thing. They probably had some uh, like on uh, on hold, basically. I put a table in here instead of a bench. God damn it, Bobby. You can sit on a table. You have to give me that. There you go. At least they have some place to sit down now. Uh, and then this is going to be our common room. We don't need to get that sorted out. I just want to get the grant requirements done. And this should happen pretty quickly here. So we'll... Uh, objects. We want staff doors here. Please tell me the kitchen doesn't have to be X size. Thank you. Uh, we need to make sure that we have uh, wires running under this as well. And then we will go... Uh, sink. The sink's bigger than I thought it was. That's alright, we can put it on this... Oh, we should put it on this wall because we already have uh, pipes there. And then we'll go... Fridge, like, here. And we can put the cooker... Here. I, I can't tell which way is actually out. I think it's this way. Uh, and we'll have to run some more electrical wires here. So there's some sloppiness. I actually thought the sink was only two uh, blocks. This It's clearly three. My mistake. And then we're going to designate this last room here as the canteen. We need some showers as well, actually. So it's not the last room. Like that. Alright. You know, the, it, it's not doing great things font-wise here, but that's okay. Uh, and we're going to put our serving tables down. Like this, basically. And the reason we're going to do this is because it makes it very easy... Uh, we can't quite fit four in there, but it makes it very easy for us to... Uh, for our chefs to bring the food there. So we're going to go bench, 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 bench. It's going to be crowded. Bench, bench, bench. Bench, bench. And then we'll put tables in there as well. So it's going to be much bigger than we need right off the get-go, but this is alright because it'll stay good for us for a while. By the way, uh, I have two doors now. Something a lot of people brought up. Hey, people are taking... Prisoners are taking forever. I, they are people, I just wanted to be specific. Uh, are They're taking forever to actually get inside of your canteen. You should take care of that. Well, it has been uh, taken care of. Two doors should, you know, double the speed at which they get in. Even if they do get stopped by the metal detector. So, let's hire two chefs. Like so. That's been taken care of. Now we only need to designate a shower room. So it's going to be rooms... I don't know how our shower room is going to handle this. Or, like, how the, the game's AI is going to handle it. 
Does this count as... Okay, so it's not two shower rooms. It's just one shower room. This makes sense. Uh, and we're going to want to put uh, a bunch of shower heads in here. They're only 20 bucks each. And we're just going to slowly click and drag them across. You know, we don't have individual stalls, but based on the way that we've done our walls here, there is at least a little bit of privacy. You're not just showering in like an open corral anymore. And this is a much better setup, I think, than the one that we previously had. And we'll just make sure to put a bunch of drains here as well. Again, I, I still don't really understand how drain mechanics work in the game, but that's okay. Once we get one shower head installed, that will actually complete our basic detention center grant, and then we can go for cell block A and start building out our cells, which is good because, you know, we're already on day three and we have no prisoners. I realize this is taking a little while here, but, you know, this is the price you pay to uh, get things set up properly. Oh, you know what? I'm an idiot. I didn't designate uh, our foreman's office as an office, and that's why there's no research being done. Office is green, yes. Same with psychologist. All right, I'm in. Uh, I'm a dummy. This guy still needs a door, as well. All right. He won't. Oh, he maybe he doesn't need a door. That's okay. All right, the cleaning's being done, or the cleaning research is being done, I should say. Metal detectors are installed, and they have power. You know, what? just to get uh, this light out of my face, I'm just gonna directly wire it in. And then hopefully it'll stop doing that uh, nonsense there. I'm not sure if it does, but I think that'll get those electrical things to stop uh, popping up. All right, next thing, cell block A. Raise your prisoner capacity to 15. Right now our prisoner capacity is zero. That's pretty bad. So we'll install toilets along all of the back walls here. And I'm, I'm just going to go with normal security prisoners again to start. Which is uh, inevitably going to disappoint some people, but, you know, I want to make sure that we can get up and running here. Like, we have the infrastructure first, just for our prison to actually work before we uh, start worrying about max security and stuff like that. Uh, and, you know, we'll just install beds here, and we should be able to complete this grant super quickly. And I would say we have basically everything we need for, like, a pretty basic early prison. It is going to, we got a truck back up here. Uh, it's going to take a while for all this to get installed, so in the meantime, let's uh, get, like, our common room set up. Hey, it did make that disappear, okay. So our common room, typically you want to have, like, to, to complete the grants, you need a couple of TVs, I think. You might only need one, but, you know, this this will still lower their recreation need, which I think is good. And we'll install, I think you need, like, one pool table and that's it. Right there. And why don't we put, like, a bench down. And then we'll make sure that this is designated as a common room, which is yellow here. All about completing these grants so we can get more money and expand our prison faster. Put a regular door here. And we want to... <laughs> I really don't think that little room works as like a visitation room. Maybe I can make it a cleaning cupboard or something later? Or that that's going to be our staff room, sorry. Okay, so we want to put a, uh, a drink machine in there. And then a wide sofa, and that's all we need, right? That's, you know, as far as rooms go, if you want to have a tiny room... Uh, I think the staff room is okay to be tiny. It's cozy in there, you know? You can really get away from the expansiveness of the prison. That's the way I'm going to think about it, at least. So staff room's going to go like that. And yes, the fonts are going to overlap a little bit. I apologize. Research groundskeeping. We have a lot of grants that are going to get completed, like, right away. Uh, prison maintenance is the next one. Uh, we're, we only need two janitors and a gardener. Why are they not piped in? Oh, because there's no... Small pipe actually connecting them here. That would help out a lot, I have to imagine. Alright, so our cells are slowly being built here. After we put the jail doors on, we will uh, drag, click and drag the cell across here. And definitely by tomorrow, we will have prisoners. Staff room can't be 4x4, four four, or can't be this, this small. Alright, well. Crap. I guess we'll save this for a cleaning cupboard. That's my bad. I really thought we'd be able to make a staff room that small. I forgot about minimum room size requirements for, like, uh, easy ones like this. Are, all the workmen are doing something, right? Yeah. Uh, no. <laughs> Alright, so let's get all the jail doors installed then. And they'll be like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
One, two, three, oh, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. I want to hire janitors. You know what? I'm going to do it even though we're not making money yet. I want to keep the prison, you know, clean-ish. Right now it's a pigsty. These guys are cooking food. There's not even any uh, prisoners. Do they have to feed staff? I'm actually not sure about that. Minus four dollars. We're making. We're losing four dollars an hour. I'm not super excited about that. What do we need next? Hire a gardener. We can do that easily. Let's look at. Uh, we'll get uh, health next because that allows us to complete a grant. So gardener, here. And there's a grant complete. Okay. And we're gonna complete another grant basically immediately just by clicking and dragging this across, if I remember correctly. No, that does not handle it well. Okay. Try it like this. Yeah, that'll work. What is this one not done? Oh my god! I made the cell size too small! Oh, that's fine, but I'm dumb. Let's just get that out of the way. I should have realized that way faster. So we're gonna build in some walls here, and we're gonna blow out like this whole section. We're lucky that we can solve it. It does, uh, it messes with my strategy a little bit, and these cells are gonna look like garbage. But it's okay. It's just really, really stupid. Basically. Alright, yeah, and then we'll build in walls like this. Um, we'll, we'll start, like, just getting the ones at the back filled in first, just so they can still escape from these cells, because I don't really trust these workmen. To do this properly. Oh. And like. No these cells are way too big now. What was the problem before? Oh they could have a wall here. But there's no point in having a wall there. I get it. So these are going to be luxury cells. Alright. Well at least we're, we're going to complete the grant. Way to go dummy. There we go. So our grant's been completed. Okay. Now, it's 10 p.m., let's make sure we turn prisoner intake on, and we'll get ready to end the episode as soon as our new prisoners arrive. We have $63,000. What's going to be next on our to-do list? I would say that, uh, well, we go to grants here. Uh, next on our to-do list, health and well-being makes sense. Visitation makes sense, and we're almost done with visitation, actually. And we can only take two grants at a time, so... We need three visitors tables, five phone booths. Five phone booths is super easy. We'll just let time go by because we're just waiting for the prisoners to show up, basically. Why can't I install the phone booth out here? Because there's a tree? Really? That's weird. One, two, oh, three, four, five. That'll be taken care of. Now we need a visitor's room. I guess we're just going to leave the drink machine and this. Can I just, can I sell them? Ah, uh, whatever. Just dump them. I know it's a waste of money. Shit happens. Uh, we need a visitation room and three visitors tables. We can build that out very easily. This will eventually be like a storage room or a cleaning cupboard or something. Can we have a cleaning cupboard already? Yes, we can. Minimum size three by three. Oh, god damn it. This is the size of a cell, basically. We can make this like a solitary area. Nah. Let's build out a small foundation. Just like this for now. And we'll make like half of this, uh, it should be up from here actually. We'll make half of this like a visitation area. I think that's reasonable. Alright, prisoners arriving in six hours. I'm excited to see how the new behavior system is set up. I apologize that it's taken us so long to get started here, but, you know, at the same time, this is uh, kind of what I expected, you know? It's a little bit more well planned in spite of the terrible mistakes that we've made than our last prison was. Let's research... Uh Security. Uh, yeah, like I think it is. It's much a much better setup than our previous prison. So I hope that it ends up working out in our favor here, and that it uh, doesn't come back to bite me in the ass. This is going to be a huge. Uh, oh, you know what? We should have a staff room and a visitation room, and then save the other half for maybe some other kind of expansion, maybe a classroom or something like that. So we'll demolish the wall like here, and that'll allow us to get like a. Hallway kind of setup, and we'll probably need to run some wires here. Is that that's been installed? There's just no wire underneath it. I got it. I got it. All right. So like this, like this, 
And how do we want this set up? Well, in my opinion, we should always keep uh, room for a hallway so that we can expand upwards here. And then we'll have a staff room. Staff room has to be four by four, I think. One, two, three, four. It might be three by three, but that doesn't really matter. We'll have a visitation room. One, two, three, four. And then we'll have some other room over here that we'll save for maybe a classroom. It'll be a small classroom, but uh, historically my prisoners aren't that big of uh, fans of learning anyway. So staff room will require a staff door. And visitation room just requires a regular door. And some visitors tables. So I think we've salvaged this to some extent. And I think our prison is going to start very, very strong here. And I think we've got to, because of the, the way that I've planned my infrastructure, we can actually still expand uh, vertically through this hallway. I think it's pretty good. I think it's, it's set up properly. What are you doing out there, janitor? Come on, man. So let's actually get these rooms set up properly. Um, oh, you know what? One of these could be a medical ward. We can actually even split this, like, down the middle. I'm not necessarily thrilled about it. But, uh, you can, you can totally install these electrical cables. Don't be silly. This guy's totally going to be trapped in there. Uh, we'll demolish this wall. Yeah, okay, so let's start by, uh, setting this up properly. So this is going to be our staff room. Drink machine. Wide sofa. It's going to be big. I hope you enjoy it. Prisoners arrive. Oh, prisoners have arrived! Here comes the truck. Okay, let's take a look at them. Richard Jones, sentenced to seven years for rioting. Notice there's a new character thing here. All right, we don't know anything about his reputation. Okay. Adam Hill, seven years for aggravated vehicle theft. We don't know anything yet. Three years for assault. We don't know anything yet. David Dodger Johnson. Dodger has been in and out of forensic psychiatric units and prisons from an early age. Schizophrenic and violent. We still don't know anything about his character. Maybe we'll learn it uh, as they enter the prison. Oh, no, we know something about this guy. Instigator. Mark Frazon Van Duren. Once a normal man who loved his wife, Mark Van Duren was a normal gamer, but much views and got from his viewers the nickname Frasian. He was arrested for killing people who killed him in the game. So he's an instigator. This prisoner sowed seeds of discontent in all those nearby when he causes trouble. Nearby prisoners will also feel compelled to do the same. All right, you sneaky dog. Jack the Monkey Grimes. The monkey, as he is referred to in Soviet Russia, fights in a cage for a living. He was beaten once before entering jail. He was accused of killing a whole crowd with what the champion described as a single Super Saiyan fireball. He showed no remorse. No character yet, either. Uh, I don't think we know any of their characters, apart from that one guy. Chris Zipperdude Loomley is a distinguished film director who got much too engrossed in his work on that one prison movie he did. Hopefully we'll learn something about their reputations as they come in. So we have one special prisoner. At least right now. Alright, so we got people inside. I assume they're going to be able to be fed properly. We've got good infrastructure here. Five of my workmen trapped themselves inside of this room. I guess I can't be too salty about that. Uh, it's largely my own fault. If you guys seriously tell me you can't install those wires, I'm going to be displeased. So let's get our, our last few rooms here done before we end the episode. It's been a long one, and it, uh, it typically is. This door is going to be visitation. Uh, the first episode always is, as you kind of get it set up, but... Again, as I'm doing the final part here, I'd like to say uh, thanks for watching, of course. And if you enjoyed the episode, please click the like button, especially because the series is kind of rebooting. Uh, it, it means disproportionately more earlier than it does uh, later. But it still means a lot later as well. Where's visitation? Isn't it green? I always miss visit... Oh, there it is. Yellow, actually. I always miss visitation. So, yeah, uh, thanks for the support on the Prison Architect series so far. And... Uh, I hope you uh, continue to enjoy the series as it kind of evolves here. We can put four visitors tables. That'll last us a little while. Similarly, I think we can put a couple of medical beds. They're only... Oh, man. <laughs> well, the infirmary is quite small. But prisoners typically can't get in anyway. So no big deal, I suppose. And we'll need a couple of doctors there. And does that give us, uh, yeah, that'll give us health and wellness. So we get doors installed here. We shouldn't allow prisoners in. I think they need to be escorted, but, uh, you know, they, they never made it into my infirmary before. So we'll, uh, we'll wait and see if these prisoners get acclimated properly and, uh, we can research something new from bureaucracy. But I think I'm going to call the episode here. So let's get, uh, prison policy is actually important. But anyway, 
Thanks for watching again. If you enjoy or are enjoying the series, uh, I hope you uh, show your support by clicking the like button. Helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. There will be more episodes every single day. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.